Hey y'all, my name's Priscilla and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a book review of a book that I recently read and this book is Chemistry by Wei Kei Wong and this is a book that I read in both audiobook and ebook form so I really enjoy it. I do have some problems with it though that I want to discuss in this review so let's go ahead and get started. This is a contemporary fiction novel. The author is Chinese and went to Harvard and she got her undergraduate degree in chemistry and she also got her master's degree in public health from another prestigious university in Boston. So the author has obviously drawn from these experiences in writing this novel. In this novel, our main character is an unnamed character who is pursuing her PhD from chemistry in a very prestigious university in the Boston area. We find out very early on that our protagonist is struggling in her research and she's just having a really difficult time. So her stress is multifaceted with the torment that she experiences from her very pushy advisors, from comparing herself to her peers who are obviously doing much better and are much more successful than she is in her research, from her boyfriend who is this everything is awesome kind of attitude about everything and from the relentless expectations that she has from her Chinese parents. So soon the protagonist comes to a crossroads and must decide whether or not this PhD program is for her and whether she wants to continue to pursue it. This was such an interesting book that was recently released by the way in May 2017. Um, it is a bit over 200-ish pages so that's about like four-ish hours on audio so it's a really quick read. Both the audio and ebook were available to me so I kind of listened and read them simultaneously. Now I will say that the writing style in this is sort of stream of consciousness so we are really invited into this woman's ever wandering mind which is not always a nice place and her thoughts and ideas of life are not always pleasant and not always warm and fuzzy. We hear about her mundane life, her loving American boyfriend who she for the life of her does not understand why he loves her and we know early on that he wants to propose and she is very hesitant to accept his proposal and, and marry him she's not sure what she wants at all in life she also constantly includes these little anecdotes of science in her everyday life she'll be looking out a window and she'll comment on the rays of light and how reflection and refraction are showing the light to her in her eyes and how we are perceiving this as humans or how I or say she's perceiving it as humans. We hear about how she is a Chinese woman in a male dominated field in science and how this dynamic plays a role in her stress in her life in academia. And she also struggles from a depression and anxiety and she regularly attends therapy. So for the good in this book, some may find that the style in writing is disjointed and whiny but I enjoy the concise and insightful look into her life. This is a woman that is very logical and very linear in thinking. I think that it is important to lift voices from women of color in academia and I wish that this book had existed when I was pursuing my undergrad degree and my postgraduate degree. I ended up getting my master's not in chemistry because of the, a lot of the stresses that this character describes. I did get my undergrad in biochemistry so I kind of related to a lot of the stories she was talking about like being in the lab and being so frustrated with your research because you're not getting the results that you need and they're not up to par to what your advisors and your family expect. Which I think is a different pressure on women of color than on other characters because her boyfriend just does not seem to understand that she can't just tell her parents that she's quitting her program because you can't disappoint your parents like that. There's another weight on you being a child of immigrants that have given up so much of their lives for you to just be mediocre. It's unacceptable. And her family moved from China to the US when she was five years old. So they have, and her father has a very successful career as an engineer. So it's no wonder that they expect nothing short of excellence from her. The narrator explains such progress he's made in one generation that to progress beyond him I feel as if I must leave America and colonize the moon. I think this is the pressure that a lot of children of immigrants experience and and I think that it is really easy to feel so isolating in academia and you're constantly comparing yourself to others and you feel helpless and hopeless many times and that the protagonist in this book really 
portrays that so wonderfully and so relatably. Um, I think that mental health is so important to discuss in education and her anxiety is a constant theme in this book. So did I mention the science? Like in this audio, the narrator drops little random uh, deadpan voice trivia and chemistry. Their scientific method throughout and I was really reminded of Astrophysics for Peoples in a Hurry by Neil deGrasse Tyson. So if you've read that very short book on science you may know what I mean when she just drops little trivia hints here and there and relates them to her mundane life. I really enjoy that. I really like that. So I could see why so some people may not like that but I really enjoyed it. So for the bad. I've already mentioned the writing style in this book but I will say that the continual present tense in conjunction with Wang's pacing in this can make some readers enjoy this a little less. Many times she will discuss some event in her life, something that has just happened, and then she'll shift to observations about refraction of light or bleaching of whales that wash up ashore or some other mundane thing through a chemist lens that is kind of hard for people to enjoy and read because it is literally in the in the text it's just like page breaks it's just like segments here and there and it can really wear on the reader as the reader reads on and in the end we really don't have much closure um, there's really no plot to this story it's just this mental health journey through life of trying to figure out what you want and what this young woman wants instead of having this formalia quantifiable plan our reader has to accept that life is full of uncertainty and indecision part of me because of this and the wearing of the writing style didn't know how to rate this i struggled between anywhere from a three to a five star rating which is a very new experience for me so i did view some other own voices reviews of this book that i will make sure to link below both of those booktubers do like this at least in part so um check out their reviews below for other perspectives so I think this is a bit of a polarizing read and I am very hesitant to recommend this to anyone unless you have resonated with anything that I've said. So in conclusion, I think that this was a great literary piece that juxtaposes the elegance and intriguing nature of science with a struggling woman with depression. That's all that I have for this review. So I'll go ahead and end it there. Hopefully this was a bit of a shorter review, but that's all that I have. I hope that you enjoyed this review. If you've read this book or if you have any recommendations for me with more science-ish kind of related literary books like this, please comment below. I would love to hear from you. But that's all that I have for you today. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!